Hello, CFA Nation, Gabe, Nick, and I am here today for another installment of Gabe's Team to the Championship, baby. Oh, I'm sorry, it's R3 Wickets. Woo! This was, by the way, one of the greatest WrestleMania. Did you, did you watch this one, Nick? Shawn Michaels, oh, the yeah, Heartbreak absolutely. Kid versus That's Stone Cold. You had Mike Tyson there as a special referee. Oh, man. Everyone thought he wasn't going to allow it because he was on the DX side. Oh, yeah. he allowed Stone Cold to get that championship. Spoiler oh, alert. man. That was classic. Yeah. yeah, spoiler alert, Nick. Spoiler alert. But that was when, bro, that's when wrestling was great. That's when wrestling was great, man. Dude, Shawn Michaels, honestly, was probably my first man crush before Sky. Now it's Sky, okay? Well, you know, I I've also had as much as a man crush. But I'm, I'm, I'm serious, bro. Like, he was such a cool dude. I'm okay, just a sexy man. boy. Sexy boy. I'm just a boy, toy, boy. You know what I mean? He was just come down. He's a man, bro. But, man, speaking of back in the day, all right, Nick, all I kept hearing in the chat today, I'm like, man, you know, in the Ryan, I was like, why don't you guys put in the Ryan? I flipped at one point when they put in Loki Ferguson in the middle over instead of the Ryan. Mind you, Loki said Ferguson had already had already bowled two in the uh in the power play. So I'm like, leave him for the death. What do you do? Put in more Ryan. Choke up the uh, spinners in the middle overs. That's the formula to win. And people are like, Gabe, hey, calm down. The Ryan's not that good anymore. I'm like, what are you talking about? This guy just takes wickets. And then somebody said something real interesting. They're like, listen. Narayan's good now, but the reality is Narayan at one point was Shane Warren before they had him change his action. Again! Bro, this changed this dude's action like 18 times. 18 times, you know what I mean? It kind of feels like, by the way, Allen Iverson with the crossover, it wasn't illegal until Allen Iverson had MJ on his backside with the... You know what I'm saying? But that's what it kind of feels like. But Loki first things comes in and takes down a wicket immediately, and people are like, see, we told you! You know how many my boy got? Boom! Boom! Oh, my gosh, Nick. So much to talk about in this match. I'm so excited. I know you're not. You're bummed because RCB went down. We're going to talk about that. But, Nick, I mean, honestly, people keep telling me he's not even that good anymore. Like, he's good. You know, he takes wickets. But you should have seen him back in the day. Could you imagine what this guy was? Are you kidding me? I can imagine now because this guy has not been – a shell of whatever that former self was in two IPL seasons so far. This is technically the playoffs, right? So two regular seasons. Now, yes, he, he's had moments this year more than last year. Last year, they opened with him time and time again, and he would, like, religiously get ducks. It was crazy. And he would ball a few wickets here and there. He wasn't trash, but I never understood the, the hype behind Sunil Narayim. This guy was a man amongst boys today. And as frustrated as I am, and I'll get to that later, he was the difference maker by far. Loki Ferguson, ooh, he was a monster too. And there was some good performances. But Sunil Narine, he stopped every mini rally, every little bit of momentum. He stopped it. And it was hit the first ball he threw, if I'm not mistaken, was a wicket. He showed up, and I'll get to that later as well, when you need your guy to show up. And he showed me something in the playoffs. It was amazing. No, for sure. For sure. And, and I mean, guys, this was such an unbelievable match. Bottom line, we're going to get into what we like, what we hated. But, you know, it came down. It, it was it came down to the last ball. And that's what tells you when you do have two evenly matched teams. Because it came down to the last over, actually, two balls left. Same thing like DC and CSK, which tells me anybody could have won this game. And really, what, to Nick's point, it's the little things. And I don't want to jump on, uh, you know, steal his thunder. But really, it's it's that's how evenly matched both these teams were yesterday and today. No, there were no blowouts. This has come down to the last overs. And this is exciting cricket. This is exciting IPL. I am not going to lie. I was not expecting a, 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 a Cochlear to win this game, especially after Wicked started to fall early. Because to Nick's point, Narayan had not done anything with the bat for, forget about, for years, for years, bro. Not, not, since last year, he'd give you 10 or 12. I think maybe he had one half century last year, but he was, I'm like, Narayan, oh my get gosh. three sixes on the first three balls? 18, cousin, hold that. Bow, game. Bow, bow. That's the game. 
I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect that to happen. I'll be honest. Yesterday, I didn't expect Coley to, to do what he did because he's been bad all year. You know what I mean? He's like, he had like 110 runs, I think, going into the, yesterday's game, Nick. And in one game, my man put up work and won a game. That's what I'm saying. Like, the IPL is so unpredictable. And I know that you are on the losing side of it, so it sucks. But you cannot tell me these were not good games, man. These were amazing games. No, absolutely. You want games to be close because not everyone's going to be a fan of one of those two teams. But hopefully you have a sport where everyone, whether they're a fan of that team or not, has to show up and has to watch and see what happens. I'm going to start right away with the positive with what I liked. And Gabe and I, if this is your first time, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And please know that each of us take a side. So it's not us just being biased with the squads, but we do happen to root for these two squads as well, respectively. Me, RCB, him, KKR. So I'm going to be talking about the RCB side, but I give all the credit to KKR for winning this match. I really, really do. Any comments I have today are my true, honest feelings, but I give KKR the credit because they won this game. Make no mistake. The things that I liked. I liked how Coley started, and I had said it early on before I got the stream by the power play was over. I said I like the way he's going. He needs to not be too aggressive, not be too silly, and it's not that's not how he got out. He got out by a beautiful ball by Narine, but I liked how he started off. I liked not too much more on the batting side, to tell you the truth, because the batting was very, very atrocious. Even uh, Paddy Cole, you can say, oh, he's got the second highest score. I didn't like his approach today. But as far as the bowling goes, there was some masterful bowling, masterful bowling for RCB. RC puts up a low score. What was it, like 137 or something like that? They put up 138. They put up a low score to start off. And it was not a score that I thought they would be able to defend whatsoever. And you had some bowlers. You had some guys out there that put everything on the line. And it was, it was very exciting for me to see some, some guys fight out there. Because these bowlers fought. Siraj... Four overs, 19 runs, two wickets. Harsh Patel, same old, same old. Four overs, 19 runs, two wickets. And then you have Shahal. Four overs, 16 runs, two wickets. Shahal, he has been a revelation. And to your point, you've been saying this whole time, I think he might be ticked off he's not in the World Cup squad. Because ever since that announcement has happened, he has not been the problem whatsoever. Those three bowlers were amazing. They gave you everything they could. Combined, 38, 54 runs is all they gave up in 12 overs. Are you kidding me right now? 54 in 12 overs. If I if my math is correct, it's probably not, right? But incredible. They gave you everything. The unfortunate thing is T20, you can only do four overs for those bowlers. Because I believe if you had Siraj or Patel going in that last over, even though KKR needs seven off six, I think they would have given you a better chance. And I'll get to Christian later. Oh, I'll get to Christian later. But those are the things I love. The fight. The absolute fight. I was saying you need to get 160. I don't care if it's Charger or not. 160 to feel comfortable. 180 I'd feel better about. 160 would have worked. It didn't happen today. I love those, uh, those players' performances. And that's all I liked. Besides KKR and some of the amazing performances that you had on that side you know here's the thing <sighs> bro it's it's one of those things man that that kind of really to to, to, to to kind of piggyback on what you were saying you know coley did his job bro that was that ball from uh, narain go back that was almost unplayable and you know narain looks like a different narain man i'm telling you he's amazing you're right Patticle, Although he had the second highest uh, 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 score, Patico got dismissed uh, um, trying to take on Loki Ferguson. I think it just snuck up on him. And we'll talk about Loki Ferguson in a minute. But, bro, but bro purple put, the bowling for RCB today proved, first and foremost, India is going to be a problem. India is going to be a problem in the world uh, uh, championship, bro. Yep. Oh, my gosh, bro. And, I mean, these are the guys they're leaving out, all right? I don't know how they don't put your hall back in there, bro. I really don't. And I know that you don't like to just change things last minute. You want to say, but bro, your house been amazing since he got to the UAE. He's averaging two wickets a game, Nick. He's economy rate under six every game. What else has he got to do? Can a put him in a lot I have no problem with changing things last minute. I want the hot hands in there, but I know they're not going to do it. I know. Man, Lord Siraj. We had been talking about Lord Siraj not taking wickets, Nick. My man was fired up. 
he got that wicked. And you can see that just animated the whole team, bro. Purple Patel, I feel bad for him. I'm not going to steal your thunder, but he deserved a better fate. He deserved a better fate. In my heart, this dude is actually the all-time the, the wicked taker. On? Absolutely. This guy is the all-time wicked taker in the IPL. I'll let you talk about that later, <laughs> but I, he, he deserved better than that. Wow, what a season by him. And who knows? Maybe he'll never have another season like this. But what he's done this year, bro, oh, my gosh. I agree with you. The bowling for RCB and the purple people leader, wow, wow. I'm going to get to what I like on the KKR side. And this is more of the same. It's the bowling. Bro, the bowling has absolutely showed up. And I get it. Sarge, your conditions. You still got to be able to bowl on the conditions, okay? And, you know, the problem is – I knew because there's no Russell, the scoring was going to be low because I knew RCB has good batting. And I said, listen, I said, in the stream, it can't be over 140. This team can't chase 140. Not, not in charge yard. This team can't chase 140. And luckily, they kept it under, under 140 and they were able to chase it, okay? But because they don't have a, 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 a I was going to say a Maxwell, because they don't have an Andre Russell, you need other guys to get runs. And I'll talk about that later. But man, I, the bowling was spectacular. Nick, I think Loki Ferguson just made himself a top five bowler, pace bowler, and he made himself too much more, more money than KKR can afford. Because I'm sorry, Loki Ferguson has looked better than Patty Cummings. If I'm KKR, I'm keeping Loki Ferguson instead of Patty Cummings. This dude is Absolutely. a savage. This dude is a savage. I remember falling in love with him when he went into the Super Over and ended up giving him like one run or something like that, two runs, and got a wicket in the Super Over. The guy's a, a savage. And he couldn't play last year. He was always behind Patty Cummings because they got too many international guys on this team. He doesn't deserve to be on this team. And if I'm him, I mean, you can't. It's not like a baseball where it's free agency. You can see, just trade me. Or you can say, no, I don't want to go to that team. If they auction and buy you, they buy you. But, bro, why would you buy him and not use him? And I guess the, the, the smart thing is KKR can say, why wouldn't we? We don't want to face him. And we don't want to face Patty Cummings. We want them all. Yum, 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 yum. You know what I mean? Like, you see the talent. Absolutely. It's Let me interject cool. real quick. It, real quick. Sorry. Patty Cummings, seven matches, nine wickets. Loki, six matches, 12 wickets. Woo! Oh, Loki. I'm telling you, the bowling is absolutely filthy. My boy, Varun Chakabati, who's in my lineup today, didn't get any wickets. Doesn't matter. The spin just makes them so cautious. Nick, that they are almost trying to defend their wickets and they're conceding overs. It's almost like they're, and I get it. These guys are not, and correct me, I am not saying that any of these KKR bowlers, including Sunil Narayan, are Rashid Khan. Rashid Khan's a different animal. He's on a different stratosphere. But they're approaching it on the UAE because of this pitch in Sharjah like it is. They're basically conceding the older. Like, look, we'll take singles if they're there, but we are not challenging these guys because when you do, just like Coley, you're out, okay? It's that simple. This pitch is so conducive, and I think Sharjah has an advantage because they've got better spinners and, and, and a plethora of spinners. I mean, even though DC does have spinners, but if you look at the combination, uh, man, that's tough because DC does have Ashwin and um, Axar Patel. They have the May guys. They, they got Lilith Yadav. If DC saw this game today and doesn't throw Lilith Yadav in their next uh, next match, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. But with that being said, bro, the guy I want to talk about with the bowling is Sunil Narayan. Nick, I was calling for him because I know Coley struggles with um with spinning. Somebody told me that's an overestimation to make. First of all, I heard it on a broadcast. Then I went back and looked at it. So far this year, he's been dismissed by spin out of the uh, 11 games they played so far. Or what is this, the qualifier? So this would have made matches, it. I think all together. 14 or something like that, 15 matches. Like eight times, like seven, eight times or something like that. If I'm not mistaken. Last time it was Robata that got him. But guys, we, it's not that he's bad against it. It's what he struggles against, okay? You might play a pay, uh, 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 pace better against it. With that being said, Bro, everybody had trouble with Narayan today. He is absolutely filthy. Now, I will say this, Nick. I'm going to do some research because everybody said, oh, he's still chucking the ball. He, he, he's going to get called on his action. I don't know what chucking the ball is, okay? I've heard it used a couple times, so I looked up the reference. I got a YouTube video, so I'm going to do the, the research first because people keep complaining that his action is still illegal. From what it looked like to me, it looked perfectly legal, but it's taken 
wickets, bro. And it's absolutely filthy. If he's in this kind of form, Nick, honestly, I don't know how the West Indies left him out of the side. And the bowling was spectacular. As far as the batting is concerned, I got to say, what I liked about the batting was that it was balanced. Not one person had to do too much. I'm not going to shout out anyone too big other than Vikitish Iyer, okay? And he had like he was tied for the second highest score. That's not the point, okay? The point is that this guy came out of nowhere, Nick. Nowhere. Everybody's like, who's Vikitish Iyer? You put him in an opening. What, what are you doing as an opening? And McCullum had been talking about him glowingly. Vikitish Iyer, the amount of pressure that to come and become an opener – Right to push down Natish Rana, Chapati, guys that have been there for a while, even as a known right, and how he's giving you those consistent innings every time he plays. Yep. I know you put him in your lineup all the time. I thought he was a fluke in the pan, and I'm a kicker up, and I'm like, yeah, after the first game, I'm not doing it. He's consistent. He's getting you runs all the time. I like him. And then the final batsman isn't even a batsman. It's the nil Narine. That was the difference in the game. Three sixes. Boom, boom, boom. Three sixes gone. I didn't even know he had that in him. I mean, Christian was like, what just happened? You saw Coley's face like, to him? Really? Dan Christian. If you didn't know, right then and there, that look from Coley, man, you're gone next year, bro. You're gone. You're, not, you're nowhere near this team. Sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. Because you got pumped. But not only did you get pumped, but you got pumped by an all-rounder. Not really a bowler. You know what I mean? Like, if it was a, a, a major hitter for them, Nick, if it was at your body or something like that, Wow. And one is one thing. But back to back, I think he gave up 20 runs in the inning or something crazy like 22. that, bro. 22. Oh, my gosh. Coley's face said it all. We've worked this hard for you to just give it up, to give up the bag. I guarantee you Christian's gone, bro. I'm not surprised if he got back to the hotel and he tried to swipe his key. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. And then security comes and taps him on the shoulder. They're just like, let's go. Like, what? Your bags are already packed. Like, oh, oh pack my bag for me, bro. Oh, man. Nick, I know there's plenty now, and you started out positive, so I give you some credit because my man could have blown up. That's where I would have started. I would have lost. I would have blown up. But he started with the positive. So go through the negatives. What did you not like, my friend? Unfortunately, there was a lot I disliked. And I, I really felt like this RCB squad had a chance. I really did. I chose them in our readjustments to win the entire thing. RCB fans know, not RCB fans know, that they did exactly what they were expected to do, unfortunately. They are a cursed squad. They are a squad that is just not able to do it. I'm not going to say they're not ever able to do it, but they're not able to do it. And I relate to them so much because in the NFL, I'm a Chargers fan. That's been their whole history. The Chargers have been in the playoffs more times than not in the last 20 years than their entire existence, for crying out loud, and they still can't pull off the big win. So there's so much similarities there. Oh, man. So much I dislike. First of all, I like the fact that I was right once again that bagging and cricket is way more important than bowling because RCB had the majority of their, their bowlers show off. 54 runs is all they get in 12 overs. That great bowling was not enough to withstand horrible batting. Horrible batting. And I'm not trying to be hyperbolic here. The batting was horrible for crying out loud. Great partnership. 51 or so in the, in the, or 60 or something like that in the power play. And then after that, nothing else. Barat, nine on a strike rate of 56. Maxwell, 15, strike rate of 83. De Villiers, 11, had a strike rate of 122, but only 11. And guess what? Two, three, four, five, all dismissed by Narain. Shabazz Ahmed. Not too bad, 13 off 14 balls. Christian, oh, nine off eight balls, and that was his highest score of the year. I'm not going to lie. Harshal Patel, eight runs on six. They had nothing going for him whatsoever. KKR, 26, 29, 29, 21, 26, whatever it is. The batting was horrendous. Narine went in there, like, sorry, in the eighth or whatever, ninth, every other over, and he got wicked every single over. He was not allowing them to breathe. The batting was horrible it looked like i was about to say a bad word i wasn't going to say i was going to mispronounce the word but it was absolutely horrible right there it was atrocious in the game that you need it it was atrocious and the bowling was so good you were almost there at the end that's why batting is more important in cricket than bowling because if you don't have the batting then you have no chance whatsoever 
and it's frustrating. I, I'm going to put some of this on Cole. I really am. Why? Why is Christian in there? I get it's hindsight. Why is Christian in there? It makes zero sense. He has not. No, stop it. He has not scored more than one or two runs as a batsman. He's an all-rounder. He has given up 10, 11 economy. There was one match where he's like three overs, 19 runs. That was an aberration for crying out loud. Right. He is horrible, in my opinion, in the IPL. BBL, he won my six of the championship. I'm okay with that. In the IPL, horrible. And he did not show anything besides a low economy rate in one match where he had zero wickets from my memory to be able to be put in this. But Coley didn't change anything. I don't think he made any changes. I get it. You have, what, Hasaranga in there or something like that? That's you need it. someone because this is the problem. There's, there's three things that Christian messed up on. Batting, that was part of him. Nine runs and eight balls. He, I've seen him hit sixes. He can hit the boundaries. Wasn't able to do too much today. Second, 22 runs. That over destroyed the entire match. Because you're the 10th over or the 9th over. And KKR needs like 80 runs on 70 balls. 80 on 70 were screwed. And it came down to 7 off 6. He gave up 22 in that over. 22 in a middle over for crying out loud. And what happened there with that 22... Coley's like, well, I can't let him go again because now we're really behind the eight ball. And what did that leave you? You did your spitters in the 15th and the 16th like we see all the time in the death. That's fine. You're not going to use a spinner in the last three overs. I look back and no one ever does that, especially not the 20th over. No one uses a spinner for the 20th over. It's all pacers. So you have this situation where Siraj and Patel, they're all done by the 20th over. You only have one pacer left. You have Maxwell who's not a pacer. You got to put Christian... The guy that gave up 22 runs, and let me make the parallel with the Chargers. The Chargers are a different team this year. And I'm going to be saying it all year. I'm going to annoy everybody. They're a different team. They are finding ways to win and not ways to lose. They're not being conservative. They're taking the bull by the horns. And Coley had a chance right here. I know it's stupid. I know no one has ever done in the history of the world. Well, in the NFL, no one goes for it on fourth down on their own side of the field. And the Chargers did, and they won that game yesterday for the NFL. You had to. You had to put Maxwell in there. I know what everyone's going to say. He would have got crushed. He would have got killed. It doesn't matter. This is not a conventional game. You're trying to win a playoff game. Seven runs on six balls. You got to do something different. Maxwell, could he have given up the lead? Absolutely. And then he, Coley would have been crushed. Why would you put Christian in there? The guy gave up 22 runs. But that's not even the biggest story. The story is he allowed himself to be left with Christian right there. He allowed, I understand. I would have put Christian a little early in the middle overs, give his 22, you're done, and now I still have a pacer for the end that actually knows what they're doing. Because I believe Siraj, I think Patel could have pulled it off, at least the super over. There's so much I did not like, and I'm going to get to some more to what I learned. But to Gabe's point, I didn't even realize this. I didn't watch this. We had drops too. Patel got dropped when he would have had the all-time record of 33 wickets. That's He's brutal. Tied Bravo, who's a champion, who won it in the CPL. He's going to win it now in the IPL. I'm calling it right now. Switch my pick to CSK. But he had 32 wickets. An amazing dream season. He can't even go to the second round of the playoffs. He can't even get that 33rd wicket. Paddock Cole did not show up. And don't, I don't want to hear he's the next captain. You have Paddock Cole as the next captain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to have them more of the same. RCB, they have some good core players. But they put everything on Barat's shoulders. And this is what I said in the stream before I left. If he has a good innings, RCB will win. If he has a bad innings, they're going to lose. He had a bad innings. They lost. It's so frustrating. It's more the same. RCB had a chance here. KKR fought tooth and nail. KKR wins. Over. You know what, Nick? I honestly, honestly, like, like, like my pit, the pit of my stomach, even though, and I was watching it because I was on break. When he dropped that ball, just the look on Patel's face was like, because that was his last over, right? There, it was his last over. He was bowling, and it was, by the way, it was a uh, uh, Sununa Ryan that he dropped, and Sununa Ryan came back and got like three runs after that, including that drop. So a drop plus two more runs. Look at what the score ended up being. That's a huge three runs, but more importantly than that, that's history. That's a record that may never he may never approach again. It made me feel like remember when Armando Galarraga threw the perfect game, and I think it was the umpire blew it or whatever. Like your heart bleeds, man. 
your heart bleeds. Sometimes you may never, for all we know, Purple Patel may never uh, uh, achieve the height of what he did. But his name could have been etched in the record book as the all-time wicket taker, at least for one year. At least for one year in the IPL. And that drop was the biggest drop. Patrick should honestly go up to him personally as a man and just apologize. Because that's an easy catch. He had it in his hands. I believe that he was panicking, and it hurt that that happened. I feel bad for Patel. In my heart, I know Patel is a purple. He is the all-time purple cap leader, but it's with an asterisk because it was a drop. Okay, so I'm gonna give credit there. Um, you know, I didn't want to uh, 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 um, step all over on you there, but guys, that was even if you're a KKR fan, that hurts to see something snatch something so valuable, a record. We're not talking about just a win, just a regular wicket. This wicket would have put him in the history books. Would have etched him in the alt. It's probably the biggest drop I've seen thus far. It's like dropping the ashes. You know what I'm saying? That's what you did personally to him. And, man, I just, like, if you're Hasaranga, I'm not Hasaranga. That's, I want to talk about Hasaranga. If you are, um, if, if, if you're Paddicle, how do you look him in the face, man? I get it. We're all athletes. But I cost you the record. like, And it wasn't like it was a tough – guys, he was there. He ran a good route. It hit him in the hands. He just lost focus, and that, that's just brutal. That's just brutal, bro. Let me ask you a question, Nick. And this is still on the RCB side. I think RCB made a tactical mistake. First and foremost, Dan Christian on the season in nine matches has four wickets, right? I get it. You can't go with all pace because, to your point, you got to use pacers to uh, clean up those wickets, right? But why not Kyle Jamison there, the Kiwi, right? Kyle Jamison, the Kiwi. And I didn't, think, I didn't even think about that. I have no idea. He's in timeout. He's in timeout. I don't know what he did. Did he break quarantine bubble? Let me know. Because in the same amount of matches, nine matches, he's got nine wickets. So I go with the guy that in nine matches has nine wickets, okay, over the guy that in nine matches has five wickets. So that to me right there, uh, explain it to me. Maybe the economy rate is all Great they're thinking. Question. But I, 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 I don't know. Economy, Second, right? There's no way Christian's a better economy. Maybe he does. If he does, I'd be shocked by that. You know, I, I was trying to look for it, but, like, uh, let's say there's maybe an economy rate. Whatever. Let's say that. They, they, there's got to be something. Matter of fact, I'm looking at it right now. This year, his Christian, his uh, economy rate is 930, Dan Christian's, and Kyle Jamison. No. I, I, I don't know. It's actually lower. It's 890. What was the, what was the thinking there? Somebody tell us in the chat, please. It must be like he's got a matchup uh, advantage over something because the numbers tell me that it should have been Kyle Jamison and not um, and not uh, 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 Dan Christian. Here's another thing. I heard this on, and I'm not stealing this myself. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I didn't think of it about that myself. This was actually a conversation that was going on on Crick Buzz. Yes, we do do research before these games. And they were saying maybe he should go with Hasaranga, okay, because – Instead of going with Carlton, who they knew that he was going to go as, as a pacer, or Christian, or Carlton, M M Muhammad Siraj, and uh, Kyle Jamison, pull out either Garthen or Christensen and go with Hasadanga, because Hasadanga is a leg spinner. And in Charger, you know spinners get wickets, Nick. Guess what? Six wickets taken by um, uh, 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 RCB. Four of them came from your spinners. Uh, I mean, from I mean, two of them came from uh, Patel, actually. Patel's not a spinner, and neither Siraj. So actually, the two Pacers got him. Chahal. Interesting that Chahal got two of them. Uh, but the economy rate that were the highest were both Carton, who's a 970 economy rate. He's a Pacer, and oh. Daniel Christian said 17. He's a Pacer. So I don't understand why they didn't do that. And you're right. If anything's on Coley, it's for not making that decision and not either going with a Kyle Jamison or a Hasaranga. Absolutely. What What did you not like from KKR, bro? There's only one thing I don't like, and I'll be honest with you guys. I'm freaking out about how bad Owen Morgan is, and I get it. I was freaking out a little bit with with uh, MS Doni, but the difference is MS Doni bats so low in the order usually, and our batting is so deep that really Doni doesn't have to bat. It's a different argument. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because the reality is here. Hit, hit, hit this, Nick. That's why we were freaking out when Donny put himself in the last game because he could have easily thrown Jadeja in there. Guess what? You know who else rakes? Uh, 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 um, um, Bravo rakes. So really, you can bat till about nine 
with a CSK. So even if two or three guys fall in the middle over, even the openers, other guys can pick up the weight. KKR doesn't have that luxury, bro. They don't have Andre Russell. And literally, you've got four guys that are consistent with the bat. And God forbid that Shubman Gill gets the yips again because then you're in trouble. But it's Gill, Mikitish Iyer, Chapati, who's their leading scorer, even though he went out to Chahal today on only six runs. All right? And Natish Rana. I can't expect to get this out of Sunil Narayan all the time. And Karthik is a, a pedestrian. But, but bro. Owen Morgan's got to step up. Bro, Owen Morgan, five runs, Nick, on seven balls. And literally, Owen Morgan was basically trying to let uh, 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 Dinesh Karthik win the game because they're in a partnership. And you could tell he wanted no parts of taking the big shot, bro. And I'm freaking out about that. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that your captain, who has to be there, right? Because he, he he's the captain of the team. Your captain, if it comes down to it and you put it on his shoulders, you don't have faith that that guy's going to win the game for you. I now have faith that it's if it's just a, a, a Donny left, and I don't care, name the bowler, I have faith. If come tomorrow or Wednesday and it's DC um, versus KKR and we need – Let's get a low economy rate. Let's say it's six runs in the last over, six on six, and it's a bowler. Let's say not. Let's say Karthik had fallen already, and it was just Owen Morgan and like Chakravarti. You think I have faith that he can get six runs in one over? You done lost your mind. You done lost your mind, bro. And if you're honest, I know I'm gonna get killed by his fans and, and, and all the English fans. If you're being honest, go ahead and watch his this guy and tell me you're confident that he could get you six runs in the over. Come on, man. I, I don't know. I really don't know what he contributes besides being a captain. Um, I'm still confused by that. And it, it kind of frustrates me because as a captain, I would like you to put yourself up there. Like, I got this, guys. Let me show you the way. And he just kind of, I'll go in the 19th over, 18th over, whatever it is. I don't know. This is what I learned. And it's kind of like, for me at least, being a sports fan most, if not all my life, it's kind of an epiphany. Going back to the Chargers, they had a guy named Philip Rivers who I absolutely love still to this day. A warrior. Never missed a start in like 15 years. He uh, he was consistent for the, the Chargers. They would have winning seasons, some losing seasons, but he was such a battler. He would chirp all this. I love this guy. But he was never able once, once to win the big game. The one time the Chargers won the big game, went to the AFC Championship, it's because he got injured on a great throw. And the backup won the game for him. He was never able once to win the big game when it really mattered. Now they have a guy named Justin Herbert, young guy, 23 years old. And he hasn't gotten to a big game yet. But so far this season, they have played some of the best teams in the NFL. And they have won almost all those games, not the Cowboys. Because this guy made the big play when they needed to. He helped make the big play. He put him in the position to win, make that big play. And what I learned, and it's sad, it's a somber note. Coley, for RCB's tenure as captain, was not able to do that. He went to one final as captain, twice wooden spoon captain. Worst record in the league, twice. Went to a finals once, lost that. Went to the playoffs last year, lost that qualifier. Went to the playoffs this year, lost that qualifier. He's not able... From what I've seen, and I'm going to get crushed for this, as an Indian cricket fan, he's not able to win the big game. And for RCB fans, you appreciate what he did. His comment, he said, I gave 120%. And I believe that. I really do believe that he gave everything out there. Even today, he was arguing with the umpire saying, hey, you should have not made me go to review. That should have been an easy wicket, and it was a wicket. And he got the umpire to understand on the next one that maybe was more questionable. The umpire called it. He's going to fight to the last breath. But I don't think he's capable to pull the right strings. I don't think he's capable to get that clutch knock, to get that clutch shot, and to make the right call. I really don't. I hope I'm wrong in this World Cup and his swan song. I really do for the T20. But I don't have the faith because there's certain guys who are monsters on the field that aren't able to do that from a leadership standpoint. And hopefully for RCBA, they can find their guy who will be able to lead them to the promised land. But all it takes in matches like this is, is a few moments, a few plays, a few decisions. For KKR, it was Sunil Narayan losing his mind, right? And it was Saqib 
who had that you need a boundary in that in that 20th over take all the pressure off and chase he got that boundary on the very first ball against christian who should not have been there in the 20th over in my opinion and i'm not trying to poo poo on coley he said in his quote he said the big over killed us not scoring at least 50 more runs killed us he's absolutely agree uh, right on that but he said i've given everything i've had in the ipl as a captain and i don't know how people see it you don't know how people that was a really interesting quote by me and i'm not trying to destroy the man but this has happened year after year for the two years i've been an rcb fan and years before that hopefully they can find their guy that can get them over the hump because when it comes down to it and you have a dog fight and you have your bowlers that fight back and you have kkr the other team once again made the right play it happened last year with SRH, and what happened to SRH? They got destroyed in the next match. We don't know what's going to happen to KKR, but that's what I learned. There are just some guys that have it and some guys that don't when it comes to being a leader on the field. You know, that's an interesting comment, and I could already, like I said, it's a brave comment by you. I could already see, you know, the, the comment section filling up, but here's my one question. And, and, and I think I know the answer, but I want to see your perspective. Coley's actually really good on an international stage, right? So he's won the big one in in, in ODIs. He's won in um. He's not. He's not won the big one for my count as a and, captain. He's not won the big one. He he. Oh well, the he test was on the squad when they won it with when it Tony won it. as the captain. In, right. What was that? Oh seven, oh eight, oh nine. But not as the captain. I see what you're saying. Not as a captain. And uh. Three games. Yeah, you know, ODI he actually has I mean, a losing record in the IPL as a captain. He has a great right. record in international as a captain, but he's in a losing record. In IPL. And that's kind of more what I was alluding, uh, alluding to. His record is really good internationally, but in, in in IPL it suffers more. Do you think it's because he plays and uh, against a lot of his teammates that know who of uh, and what of Iraq Coley is? And the tactics you use that'll work in an Australia will work against an England. Isn't going to work against another captain like Pant, who knows who you are, who knows what your tendencies are. A captain like, like, a uh, case in point, Rohit Sharma. These guys are competitive, but they're both c- captain and vice captain on the uh, uh, ODI team. He's not going to out coach. He's not going to out captain Rohit Sharma. It's not going to happen. It's been proven, right? Rohit Sharma has won way more. So I think that he's almost at a disadvantage because think about it. You would approach the, the, the international game in T20 similar to you approach it, the same thing here in the IPL. But over there, you're sharing your tactics where over here, they already know what you think and what you like to do so they can use that against you. Maybe that's just my thoughts. Maybe I'm overthinking it too much. But it doesn't make sense that he's been successful international. But in the IPL, to your point, he has a losing record. That but to he me still hasn't been able to win the big one. Right? The, the, the overall the big, big one, one. That's what and that's and that's my point. There's some the overall, guys that, and you have guys in all sports that way where they are Hall of Famers, but they weren't able to win the big one. It takes a special skill to be a Tom Brady and win that big one more times than not. Right. And again, crush me if you want. It's not a big deal. I'm just being honest. And if you are yeah, a absolutely. true Coley fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Ronji trophies. I'm not talking about U19. I'm talking about the big one where he is the captain. It's unfortunate. I would love for that not to be the narrative. Interesting. Let me ask you a, 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 a question. As far as what I learned, it's really, really simple. Very first stream, okay, they gave us that cliche. And because it happened, and that's why I hate, and he's on my uh, uh, hate list. Because, again, it's a small moment in a match that ends history. And John Campbell's uh, a drop cost the West Indies from being able to actually win a series in England in test. That's huge, guys. That's huge, all right? Teams, especially England, Australia, they protect the home turf. And a drop cost us that win. It changed the momentum of that game. Then he just throws away his wicket. Any which way. You remember the cliche they told us, Nick, uh, uh, when that moment happened and it changed the total complexion of the series? Catches win matches. Last three games, it's been a drop that's really – in my opinion, impacted the game. That drop of of uh, uh, of Sonona Ryan not only dejected uh, 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 Purple Patel, right? He finished off the over. He didn't. It wasn't like he got pumped. He gave up maybe two more singles or whatever. But that would have been so huge 
to get that to get Narayan out of there at that point. Maybe he's on he goes and gets back to back wickets, right? He's he gets the, the next person that's coming in. Like you could just see the face on Coley. Like that just let the air out of the room. And I think that that started the yips. That started people panicking. You know what I'm saying? And to me, it was I felt like RCB honestly had the momentum right there. That 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 was huge. That was such a huge drop, and it hurt so bad. And again, I feel bad. CSK. CSK had the game won. That's why I was confident they could beat DC because even as bad as they looked in that game versus DC, we saw who Axar Patel is, and he ain't Sherman Hitmeyer. All right? A ball hit right to Gotham, and Gotham in his chest, he hit him in the stomach, bro, drops it, catches, win, matches. So even though you've moved me from saying that bowling is the most important thing and, and batting sucks, it doesn't matter, you moved me from that a little bit. Yeah, you're right. You, you got to score runs. But you know what you also got to do? You got to catch the ball. You got to catch the ball. All right? And, you, and again, maybe I don't hit a six. Maybe I get out on a duck. But if I do what last time KKR lost, okay, what was it? Somebody, uh, who was it? Oh, help me out. Caught it. Was, was it Shubman Gill? Caught the ball on the boundary and then dropped it and it goes for a six. Lose the game like that. I don't know who it was, but yeah. I mean, come on. Come, it's this, just against RCB. You got to catch the ball. This is why drops, they frustrate me. But they don't frustrate me as much as they frustrate you because it's not an easy thing. It's bare hands. If it was easy, then everyone would be able to do it. It's not an easy thing. It's an added skill which makes fielding another facet of the three facet parts of cricket. It's not something that everyone can do. We've seen Paddock make some amazing catches. But the, the worst thing about it is when it's on the biggest stage for them. It's on the biggest stage. Pro Patel's biggest stage for him. That's where it's really frustrating. But it's going to happen because it's it's that difficult to catch. These guys on the boundaries, even the sitters, they make it look so easy. But when you look at some of these catches, I mean, it's just natural. I mean, the ball, it pops up a little bit, and they got to grab it. It's it's so tough. And I'm always amazed whenever anyone can catch a bare hand, and especially really up close. But you, you got to have it, unfortunate. You got to have it. Well, guys, this has been a long one. But that just tells you how passionate we were about this game, how interesting this game was. And I'm not going to sit here and be confident and, 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 and cocky and say, oh, KKR crushed. Guys, that honestly, that wicket was the game. That was the game changer. That and the Christensen over. But even more than that, that wicket falls. And I think that it's a different game. Narayan falls there at that point. And then at that point, you got a new guy on strike person pick, uh, uh, facing Purple Patel with two more balls. That's ugly. That's ugly. I can't remember. This guy's the king of back to back and belly to belly because he loves to get guys with that. You know what I mean? He's got more two fours than I can count this year, like back to back wickets like that, those, those, those belly to the bellies. So, but guys, that's our thoughts on the game. You guys already know what time it is, all right? We're going to talk about Gabe's mush pick. Nick has beat me by like a bazillion runs. I'm out of it, guys. I'm out of it, all right? And once again, my last few picks have been terrible. I went with Glenn Maxwell today. He didn't put up much. I went with the Jadeja, and Donny didn't even let him bat. He got a wicket, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't. I might let Nick pick my mush pick because it's been that bad for me. I can't pick it. I, at one point, am I lying, Nick? I was beating you. When we first, like like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was beating you by like 200 points. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like the, the, the mush, it's real. It wasn't the in the summer, Gabe. Maybe it was like the summer solstice or something. How did you, I want to know, what happened? How did you take this? He's got like a 700 point lead on me. What happened? Gosh. The worst thing that could happen is you get behind someone and it gets in your head. Once you're ahead, that's the whole difference. Once you use your clean slate and you got ahead of me again, I wasn't too worried about because I knew I had it. I use it today. I, it got me 400 points, but I would have liked to give me a whole lot more. But um, it's it's about not trying to be smarter. Last year, I was trying to be smarter in the room every single pick, and it it terrified me. Who's my pick for the next match? It's it's very very simple. It's extremely simple. It's Iyer. I'm gonna keep going with Iyer. I'm, I'm gonna keep going with it. You got to go with the opening batsman. Because the bowlers, you can have a great bowler that doesn't get any wickets and it screws you over. So it's it's very simple. It's Iyer and it's Dewan. Dewan is so due, it's not even funny. He is so due, it is not even funny. 
He's due for at least a half century. I think those are your locks right there until they tell you, they prove away that they're not. Very simple. Well, Nick, I'll tell you what, and people are going to like, it, 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 it just throws me off. My pick, my mush pick, and it, recency bias, right? Recency bias. But not just Sunil recency Narayan. bias. It's going to be Sunil Narayan, and then my, 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 my vice captain is going to be Axar Patel. Because these are guys that absolutely eat. It, it, it's, a, it's in Sharjah, bro. It's in the same grounds as Sharjah. And what we know is that the spinners absolutely, absolutely thrive here. So my captain and vice captain are Sunil Narayan and Axar Patel. And as and we just, speak right now. You just answered your question right there. You just answered your own question about why you're behind me. What? Those are good, those are good Listen. picks. Listen, the, the openers are going to open. And more than likely, they're going to score some runs. Some runs, okay? So if you get uh, Iyer, let's say he gets 30 runs, he gets two sixes and a few boundaries. As a captain, he's going to get you 75 points at least, okay? You need Narayan to get you two wickets to go above that. Or you need Axar Patel as a vice captain to get two wickets to go above that. Spinners get wickets, absolutely. Doesn't mean Axar Patel is going to give you the spinner that gets those wickets. So you're they only get four overs to bowl. Axar Patel might get on strike. They probably not put him at three again. But <laughs> I mean, three or four. So I'm just saying, you just go with the safe bet. Could Dewan go down for a duck? Absolutely. But I know he's going to be up there. And I know he's going to get some catches for crying out loud. Uh, I said what I said. I said what I said. Still yeah. going with the ride. Still going with XR I'm Patel. I'm for you. I really do. You, you need this win. I'm hoping that you're right on both of them. Oh, man. Go. Guys, it's been so much fun. Such a great playoffs i mean i know nick nick, nick is is in his heart he he, he wants rcb to win okay. i think he wants rcb to win more than mumbai because he's been there done it with mumbai last year that's why this he was like ah he really wanted to see more rcb get through and i understand that like oh that feeling of can't bring the win the big one same thing with his charges for years can't win the big one so so i understand that feeling man and i felt bad because like i said this game was so close it it, it could have gone either way but this is my last statement, bro. This is what playoffs are supposed to be, where it comes down to the last over, last few balls, tension, people in the stands crying. Donnie's wife, I think, was crying when he was at strike. Or I don't know if that was his daughter. You could see how everybody was so emotional. That's what it is. And that's what sports gives us. You know what I mean? Today, you can see everyone's face, the tension. That's what it is. You don't want to have a game that's over in the first, you know, oh man, like Mumbai Indian in the in, in, right before the 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 the, the playoffs, right? They they, had, they were trying to qualify. That game was over in the 10th over of the first innings. Mumbai had put up like 200 runs. It's over. It's a forgotten conclusion. It's just what over is going to end it. You know what I'm saying? That's just not entertaining cricket. I want it to be nail biting. I want it to be nerve wracking. I want it to be painful. Because the more painful it is, the better and sweeter the the the, uh, the 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 victory. Nick, final thoughts to you, my friend. It's just both your teams are still in the playoffs, so that's awesome for you. I honestly am happy for you. Um, RCB, I'm hoping whoever they make captain, whoever they bring in, can help turn a whole new leaf because this is your opportunity right now. If you make someone as young as Patical captain and he's in his twenties. He hasn't been able to show it early on in the big moments. I could be wrong. Biggest thing, last thing I want to say, they're going to add two more teams this next season. You know what I want? I don't want any more playoff spots available. I still want the top four to go because I don't like the four out of the eight teams. Half the teams go. It's not what we're used to with American sports. It's usually 33 or 37% of the teams go into the playoffs. I want to be hardcore. You're the two new teams. Earn your way into the playoffs. We're not opening five or six slots. So we'll see how that goes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, that six runs.